Hello folks, Antibody here, bringing you a dual commentary live between Circuity and Galtath, two Smokebreak clan members. We're going to be starting off by following Circuity as he grabs the Mega Health right off the bat. Takes the 50 armor along with it. And he's out going hunting for Mr. Galtath. Galtath going with the machine gun. He wasn't able to pick up a rocket launcher, I'm not sure. Well, maybe he did, could be because the rocket launcher is right there in this in this classic map. We're on Dark Zone, by the way, if I didn't say that already. Uh, classic map. Uh, known to just about every Quaker and Quake World player out there. Circuit he picks up his second Mega Health. Chains it again with the 50 Mega Armor. We have yet to see a frag, though. Both players being cautious, although... Circuity is looking to be the most aggressive here. Down to 38 health. Fortunately, he's near a 25 health bubble. Galtath pushing up. He's cornered. See if we can see a frag here. 30 health Circuity has. Just in time for a mega health, though. Let's switch over to Galtath. See his strategy. He does have a rocket launcher. And a mortar. And he's fully stacked at 100 and 100 choosing not to pursue, but looks like he's homesteading around the Mega Health area, see if he can steal one from Circuity, I believe. So note that that telly in the middle comes out right, right in front of that one, so he was kind of hiding over to the left here. He's trying an ambush, but it did not work out for him. Circuity pushing. As Galtev unfortunately rockets himself a little bit. And Circuity with the first frag on the board with 8 minutes and 5 seconds remaining. Let's follow the leader here. So Circuity in the lead, 1-0. And a tight match here on Dark Zone. He's just about fully stacked. And he's bouncing the Electro at just the right location. You could tell he's fully aware of the ins and outs of this map. As he follows through with another frag, an Electro combo on Galtath. And while he's at it, he figures, hey, I might as well steal the Mega Armor while I'm while I'm here. So, and that's exactly what he does. Circuity in the middle, trying to homestead the area, seeing where Galtath's going to show his face. Galtath unfortunately rocketing himself again as Circuity picks up the Mega Health with 720 at about 720. You see a little bit of the frustration in, in Circuity; he's having trouble moving around. Not able to follow through on taking the Mega Armor again, so Galtath does have a chance as Circuity's down to 40 health. Let's see what Galtath is at. Galtath looking strong, but unfortunately he goes down again. 4 0, 655 remaining. Circuity in the lead. Galtath, the down player, we're following Galtath. He's armed himself with a rocket launcher and a machine gun, and here comes Circuity pushing in for that Mega Armor. See if he can push him off. No, not enough. Fortunately for Circuity. Oh. Amazing. Galtath on the board. 4 to 1 with a rocket right to Circuity's feet. So Circuity appears to be homesteading the Mega Health area. No, now he's over near the Mega Armor. He has himself a rocket launcher. Does a little bit of damage there. A bit of interesting back and forth between these two players. Each seeming to exchange the Megas. Which, by the way, do uh, spawn every 30 seconds here. As Circuity picks up yet another frag. Extending his lead 5-1. to one. As we switch over to Circuity. Six to one. Circuity with five minutes forty seconds remaining. Circuity happy to to hang around the mega armor place. I do believe I just saw a shot on Cir Circuity's back, but doesn't seem to have noticed. But he does now. A little bit of a pursuit. Good laser. Galtath doing a good job of backing off cautiously. But he doesn't have the item timing, so Circuity's able to pick up that, that Mega Health and go right back at it. 
the interesting thing about this map is you have to rely almost exclusively on the uh, on the splash damage weapons, Electro and Rocket Launcher being chief among them. Uh, a little bit of mortar too, but but mainly you see the players using the Electro like Circuit he's using and the Rocket Launcher here. Um, there's no next, which is you know a con for some people, pro for others. So Circuity, comfortable lead, seven to one. Four minutes, 35 seconds remaining. <laughs> Galtath, kind of lucky on that Mega Armor. Either lucky or he had the timing, but he's able to steal it from Circuity, but it does no good. He goes down 8-1. to one. Circuity unable to push through with another frag. You can hear the pain sounds as he bounces his Electro Secondary off the wall in just the right spot. Clever move there. He bounce... Bounce the secondary off the wall there, so the so the electro particles land right in front of the teleporter. So nice little ambush or anti-ambush strategy. Circuity arming himself with the the hagger, a strange choice, but he is good with it. I can testify to that. <laughs> All right, so he's he's pretty much loaded up with a full stack, higher and higher than 100 health and plenty armor, and he follows up with another frag, nine to one. Let's follow Galtath to see what he's doing to come back. Looks like he had a favorable spawn for the uh, for the Krylink. Just slightly off on there. A couple more particle hits from that Krylink, and Circuity can go down, but he doesn't. And you see the waggle of frustration in his viewport as he goes down yet another frag. Ten to one. Three minutes remaining. He's got himself a cry link and a mortar. And fortunately for him... Well, he did have a mega armor. So he's doing a good job of keeping Circuity away from the mega armor, but Circuity, by contrast, is just being aggressive just when he needs to be. So, oh, there you have it. Galtath on the board with another frag. Two to 11, two and a half minutes remaining. I'm not sure he can bridge that gap, especially not when you get a telefrag, as both players are laughing about it. Great curvy rocket by Circuity there to take down Galtath, extending his lead 13 to two. Unbelievable! The pain sounds are showing that Circuity is very, very low at this point. Galtath needs only one good hit to take him down, but he's unable to do it, and Circuity squeaks away. Let's see where he went to. He was in the Mega Health Room. Now he's fully back up to speed. 150-50. <laughs> and a laser frag on the board. 15-2. to two. This is gift wrapped for Circuity at this point. 1 minute 40 seconds remaining. There's no way Galtath can pull a 13 frag difference. And so it looks like Circuity's joyriding around the map. Oh, maybe he's doing a quick pit stop for <laughs> one last frag. Picking up another mega health. Let's see what Galtath is up to. Oh, and a suicide on the board takes away one of those precious two frags for Galtath. 15-1 to 1 in Circuity's favor. Just over a minute remaining. Wow, look at that curve. That's one of the advantages to Xenotic right there. Uh, as I can't even say Xenotic. Um, is the Kirby Rockets. We've been, we've talked about it on a bunch of the streams before, but it's it's one of the unique features of the game. It's not like Quake where you have just a straight fire. What you have instead is a rocket that you're able to bend if you hold the primary fire, uh, which can be very useful in getting your opponents when they're hiding behind pillars or other obstructions. So very effective use by Circuity there as he pretty much locks in his victory, 17-1. to 1. Circuity from Canada has a top 10 ranking in terms of stats and a very high ELO. And 
This will be his 18th duel in a row that he will have won, so pretty impressive. And as the match winds down, I'd like to thank you for, for watching. Um, I'm Antibody, and we've just watched Circuity vs. Galtath on the map Dark Zone. I hope you enjoyed. Come out and come out on IRC, hang out sometime. We're on poundzonotic.pickup on QuakeNet's IRC. That's QuakeNet.org.